you, friends. Logan Mouse here with Dream Guitars, and this is such a treat uh, for me to visit with today. This is a 2016 um, Pat Metheny Signature 6 from Linda Manzer. Uh, so Linda built 30 of these guitars, and that's all she did, and that's all she'll ever do of these. Um, this is number 21 of that very exclusive 30. Uh, we've had a few come to the shop, and every time they've been oh so cool, and this one does not um, disappoint in the slightest. So. It's got a couple things going on here. Um, in addition to having the Manzer wedge, of course, that we all know and love, um, this also has this really cool kind of thumb bevel here, and there's a little bit of a contour in the heel, to, so you can get your thumb up around there. So there's those two things going on. There's a Carlos Juan pickup system in here, which sounds insane. Oh, so good. Um, along the fingerboard, you'll notice there are these really cool inlays, and those are based off of um, these doodles, functionally, that Pat would just, you know, draw uh, backstage in between sets. And uh, Linda has uh, hand cut and um, hand uh, installed, so to speak, um, all on the fingerboard and, of course, uh, the head plate here, too. So, ah, such cool stuff. Um, other uh, additional things include, there's actually a diamond here, uh, the side dot for the uh, 3 5 seventh fret, which, you know, how many diamond guitars have you seen in your day? Ah, that's so cool. And yeah, so again, a very exclusive instrument, number 21 of 30. Um, this is only the second or third one I've ever seen. Um, and it is a delight to visit with it today. So let's go ahead and get a shot of that Manzer Wedge for starters. So uh, for those who aren't in the know, um, Linda pioneered this thing where the treble side, excuse me, the treble side is full, full width. And then the bass side is a little bit thinner or a little, uh, narrower. And the effect of that is it tilts the guitar back to you a bit. So you don't have to kind of throw your shoulder out to play the dang guitar. Um, that angles it back a little bit, so it's resting back. Um, your shoulder doesn't have to roll out as much. So it's a very valuable ergonomic feature. And a lot of other folks do that these days, so thank you, Linda, for getting that started. So getting into the top a little bit, um, German spruce on top for this guy. And here we are with that aforementioned um, thumb bevel, <laughs> which I love, and of course the cutaway as well. Um, two points. One, the side comes up to a smooth, um, smoothly contouring, excuse me, onto the heel itself. So there's no like a blocked out material there. So your hand gets to those top frets on the treble side very easily. But also on the bass side, uh, we have of course that thumb bevel. And then, here we go, um, you, you can see where there's a little bit of material removed here to even more easily get your thumb in there, um, as well as to plant for playing on the treble side too, which, hmm. That's just really cool. Coming around to the back, we have Indian Rosewood, a classic choice. Um, Linda's built a lot of guitars with Indian, and she certainly knows how to do it right. Yeah, that's good. And as we come up the neck, um, I would say it's got a, a decent amount of, of um, depth to the neck. Uh, it doesn't feel like a very big neck. Uh, I think the nut is a little bit slender, more like 1 and 11 sixteenths or so. So it's always pretty cool. And then coming around to the front, um, again, we have those sprawling, very unique inlays, um, so dang cool. And then of course it culminates here at the head plate with Linda's own name, of course. Fantastic stuff, I love that. A little diamond on the side dot, <laughs> that's so cool. But uh, anyways, if you want to learn more about this extremely exclusive and extremely exciting instrument, uh, the Pat Metheny Signature number 21 of 30, give us a shout, we would love to chat. Cheers.